Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. So it is the weekend. I hope you guys don't mind if I look like a total piece of shit. So today, as you guys have seen in the thumbnail, we are going to make a DIY rose highlighter, contour, and blush. So if you guys want to see how I made it, just go ahead and keep on watching and do subscribe if you haven't already. So let's start. I hope you guys do not mind if I use the sunlight. It has been forever since I have used the natural lighting. I really love using the natural lighting because you can manage your expectations when it comes to the colors. So I'm hoping and praying that when we move to a house, my makeup room is going to have a direct sunlight on it. Anyways, so first things first, before you even do this project, ask yourself if after the project, are you even going to use the blush, contour, and highlight? So. If you want to decide to just make the highlighter, then go ahead and do it. But what I'm trying to say is that I am going to make something that I will really, really use. Because if not, then it's just going to be a waste of time, waste of money, and waste of everything. But I gotta tell you guys that making this is actually very therapeutic. It makes you busy. It relieves so much stress. So I totally recommend this for you guys as well if you have nothing to do at home. So... The first thing that I would recommend for you to guys have is something that you can put on your work desk. So this will help you become more clean and sanitary and it's just, you know, make it going to, it's going to make easier for you to clean everything up after the project. And then the next container that I have here is the next thing that I have here <laughs> are containers and I got them for from Joann's and it's just a dollar and 49 cents. So I was actually thinking if I'm going to put it in a beautiful container like this. However, if I travel, I can't bring this baby along with me. So what's good about this one is that aside from it's a very inexpensive, you can go freestyling on this baby. You can decorate it. You can put pearls on it. You can put diamonds on it. You can put anything you want using a glue gun. You know, the rest is up to you. You're a grown ass woman. You can do whatever you want with the box. All right. So these containers, you can buy them at Daiso. So I saw different types of videos that are making these rose petals ones. And they do not tell you guys where they got the cute ass containers. I'm going to tell you right now they got it at Daiso. D-A-I-S-O. You can search that on Yelp, Google Maps, wherever. Visit that store because there's so many good items there. You won't even believe. Everything is just $1.50. So these roses... I got them at the Dollar Tree. I know they are not the prettiest, but if you guys are planning to use the, to really use this rose blush, I suggest that you guys invest on the flowers because it will make you more excited to use the product. Not just making the product and then after that you're like, "Wow, I want to use this one instead." Something like that. And the reason why I am going to use the products that I really use for my face is that <laughs> it's just going to make me more excited to use it because these are the real things that I use for myself. I don't know if I make sense, but I know you guys get the picture. So also, yeah, you will need an alcohol and a setting spray. This one, I got this at Dollar Tree as well. It's just 50%. If you have, if you can find something like 70%, that would be so much better. But alcohol is alcohol, more percentage, more fun, more killing of bacteria. And I also have this synthetic foundation brush. You know the drill, you probably seen, you probably have seen a gazillion videos of this and this is going to be our applicator for the concoction that we are going to make today. Concoction, wow. Okay, so the products that I'm going to use is this Profusion Pro Contour. You guys have seen this on my previous video on Instagram and this is actually just an old contour powder from Forever 21 that I actually want to use this up already I actually love the color of this and something that is within my budget this wet n wild mega glow illuminating palette I have this since last year and I really got I haven't really got the chance to use it and some of baked eyeshadows here that will add more shimmer to the illuminating power that I have here and my favorite wet n wild blushes that I will sacrifice to the gods today and one elf blush for um, an extender so that I can you know cover the whole entire rose now I suggest that I already cleaned this up last night I actually soaked them in a small tub with a facial wash 
because I'm gonna put this on my face so I don't want anything very harmful to the face we only have one face so might as well take the care uh, take care of it since it is getting dark already I just decided to open the lights too bad there's not enough sunlight in this room but anyways what I'm gonna do first since obviously you cannot wash these babies and anything that you will use on your face I advise that you guys must 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 sanitize everything even before you use them so what i'm gonna do is that i have an empty bottle spray here from my setting spray and then i put alcohol in it so i am just going to spray it <laughs> oh my god i'll be right back okay here we go so i'm just gonna spray that with alcohol why is it that every time i'm okay there you go <laughs> i'm gonna spray it with alcohol like that Sorry guys if I'm shaking. Why is it? I'm so upset. Why am I shaking a lot? This is terrible. But you get the picture. My finger is not strong enough. That's so funny. So I'm just going to set this aside and leave it to dry. So when you buy fake roses anywhere, they are usually not individually wrapped. So you best bet that they are pretty much dirty from the dirt. They are so exposed. Who knows? Someone might have scratched their balls and touched these flowers. I don't know. It's just, I'm so sorry. I'm nasty. Anyways, what I did last night is that I got a small tub, fill it with hot water, put a little bit of facial wash, swirl these roses, and then after that, I wash them with running cold water and then dry, um, let it dry naturally, naturally. I mean, not blow drying them. I just leave them to naturally dry. And then the morning I woke up, I feel like they are so pretty. The color got more vibrant. They smell so good and they are so ready to get painted. So the next thing that you will do is for a dollar, you will be getting six stems, six roses, six stems. Why did I just say six stems? <laughs> Anyways, pick the best looking flower. Okay, so these are my final three. If you just wanted to do a blush, that's going to be up to you, honey. So the flowers are ready. So I'm just going to wash my hands, make sure that everything is super squeaky clean. If you have medical gloves, I know I'm extra, but what I'm trying to say is that, again, you are going to put this on your face. Might as well be extra. And then look at these Dollar Tree flowers. They are not bad at all. But the other three flowers totally suck. They look like they are so stressed in life. So, yeah. I am so ready to paint these babies. Now let us make the first mixture. I'm going to put these aside. Now it's time for the fun part, guys. I'm going to act like a know-it-all chemist, artist, something slash something. And then I am going to... I've actually sprayed everything with alcohol, so to keep everything sanitized. And then I am going to start with one of my favorite blushes. This is from Wet n Wild, and this is the 328 Mellow Wine. I love Wet n Wild blushes, aside from the fact that they are super affordable. They are super pigmented, super silky. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just going to do this first. If you guys could hear that, that is actually my chair squeaking. So I am not farting. All right. All right. After that, I am going to put a little bit of alcohol. Two shots of vodka. Look, 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 look. Do you know that? <laughs> And then I am going to obviously mix it with a spatula. If you don't have a spatula, use a popsicle stick. If you don't have that, you can use just pretty much everything that anything that you can find in your kitchen. Or you can actually use the back of the brush that you have. Just clean it. So if you feel that it's not as creamy as just add a little bit more. 
All right, guys, I am already satisfied with the consistency of this one. It is a little bit moussey. It's not runny. It's just really perfect. You can manage it very well as you paint it. It's not going to be too runny. So I'm just going to pick one flower and then start painting. Yes, I'm going to start from the inside. Just paint it. I'm trying to be gentle as much as I could because, oh, that's too much. So I'm just going to finish the rest of it and I'll be right back because I don't want you guys to wait. So now I am done with the first flower. I'm just going to clean everything up and move on to the next flower. So it's the same thing that I'm going to do. I am going to crush the eyeshadow or the highlighter palette. So the, re the, the reason why I'm starting with this baby out is because I absolutely love the color of this one. And the shimmer on this one is just really finely milled. So it's not going to be like that highlighter with a chunk of glitter. So I'm just doing the same process. Hold on. Just going to paint these flowers really, really nice. I'm trying to cover this whole flower as much as I could because it's going to look really pretty. I hope so. Hey, at the end. Kind of hungry. I'm done with the second one and finally the contour. I don't know why my finger is, my hand is shaking. Now it's time for the contour. It's so sad, like this project is almost over. I'm having so much fun doing these roses. So I'm just gonna get a little mixture from this one and a little mixture from my Profusion contouring palette. So I don't know, maybe I'll just finish this baby up. It depends. Oops. Why, why can I make this even? I love starting in the inner corners and then I just, you know, work my way out. Anything that has visible red, I try to cover it up as much as I can. Are you guys I'm so bored like I couldn't even so the last rose is finished it's kind of like breaking apart because there's so much product in here but I'm just gonna let this dry and then after that that's the only time that I'm going to rearrange everything because it's gonna be really messy and some product might fall off come off from this one it's actually drying pretty quickly but i'm gonna leave this overnight if it's not completely dry i don't want to touch it so be already to the remaining flowers what i want to do with this one is that i am going to break them apart I'm just gonna remove that thing right here at the bottom just 
like that. It's going to look like that and then I am going to put them on the container. So this is going to act like a stuffing so this will lift the roses even more and I do not have any glue here with me so if I put this inside everything is going to be a little bit intact so even if you swirl your fan brush or blush brush with these it's not going to move from north to south and even before the product goes at the very bottom of this container it's gonna fall down to these fake ass roses and you don't even um you can still use the product at the very bottom but actually there's nothing to worry about even if the product falls at the very bottom is because we have already sanitized it and you know like the usual if you glue the rose inside when all the product falls down you have to like do that thing and then you don't need to do that anymore because all you have to do is use a tweezer and then just, you know, grab the rose and then you can swirl your brush inside. So I'm just going to finish this up. Super cute. So actually my original plan was putting the roses together in a old iPhone box. However, I do not like uh, color contamination. That's why because I like my contour matte, if I make sense. So if you guys decide to put everything in one container, it's all going to be up to you. But my advice is do them separately because there's absolutely going to be color contamination. Okay, guys, our roses are finally completely dry. I actually let them dry overnight, and I am really excited to try these babies out. I will give you some swatches, and then I'm just going to put them here first in the container. Let me just fix this camera oh my goodness don't you just love the sunlight okay i'm gonna start with the blush this is what it looks like when it's completely dry it is absolutely beautiful just put that here hold on here you go so cute and then the contour so this one doesn't look as attractive as the others because I wasn't able to like really shred the um, powder. So please be mindful of that if you want your rose to look beautiful. And then of course the highlight. This looks pretty. I'm not a highlighter person, but this one looks really pretty. Oh, hold on. Let me just fix the bottom first. Why you keep on moving? Oh my god. Okay. There you go. Now let's put these babies to the test. And of course, guys, I will be starting with the rose contour. And I'm so happy that the brush picked up the product quickly actually i was tapping off the excess as you can see and it's really pigmented on my face i was actually thinking that the alcohol can destroy the quality of the product but it did not so only one thing that i notice every time i get a contouring powder from the rose is that it's breaking apart but not completely but you can see some cracks on the rose so i'm not so sure if it has something to do with me not putting a setting spray on it but i've seen some people do apply some setting spray but i don't want to do that because i just don't want to you know make the product stick so much on the rose that you can't even get it it's not really that bad there are so much products still on the rose petals and then i am going to use this blush i honestly think that i really did a good job on this blush as you can see, here am I again overdoing my blush again because I am enjoying using it. Can I just say that John Ray never really like it? Every time I do a DIY, it's either I hurt myself or it's just a total waste. But this time, I feel so good about this DIY. So in your face, honey. 
and of course the highlight so i just used the elf baked eyeshadow palette on this one in texas and then i'm actually not a highlighter person all right so it's very rare for me to use a highlight but i was actually very happy with the result of this one because girl i am blinding i'm blinding you, you can see it at at the end okay i'm not the type of person that is overly insane about highlight but I kind of like just a little bit of it, but most of the time I like my face matte. It's very rare that I do highlight, but this time I kind of like it because look at that glow. Please, look at that. And what I like about this one is that you can totally build them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think on the comment box down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Love you, bye!